Good morning. Today is March 10th, 2022. My name is Sin Bagley, and today I'm doing a daily I Ching using Paul, Paul O'Brien's Visionary I Ching. So, like we do every day, I will take three deep breaths. Now I'll throw the coins. I throw six coins to and make a hexagram. I know I was saying trigram in my previous videos, but uh, yeah, he hexagrams because there's six lines. Today I received number 48 which is the well and it has changing lines so we'll read the changing lines changing line four the walls of the well are currently being lined with stone so the time is not yet ripe to lower the bucket there are times when the priority in life is to put details in order and to take care of infrastructure saving profound exploration for another time Currently, it is more important to gain discipline in small things so that you will be able to profit from your self-improvements in the future. Changing line 5 says, The well is fed from a clear, cool spring. This represents a good and honest character that is as clean and refreshing as spring water. Though this line points to profit, achievement, and success, the water is not yet drawn. So the potential is not fully realized. It's not enough to have access to a good well for it will be for it to be of real value. You must drink from it. In other words, you must walk your path. You can only claim knowledge through actual experience. Okay. The the second hexagram is number 32 which is endurance endurance is cultivated when determination is coupled with flexibility long distance runners must adapt to changing conditions while maintaining a strong sense of purpose two trees growing together or two trees growing near each other bend and adapt to enhance each other's survival a strong image of durability is a stable relationship of intimate partners that strikes a dynamic balance between involvement in the outside world and nourishment in the home. True endurance is not based on rigidity because endurance implies flexibility, not being locked in position. Only by adapting to change can we stay in the race. And only by deepening our sense of purpose can we call forth the strength to win it. Continuity is achieved through movement, not by keeping still. That which has ceased to grow is degrading toward death. Be actively changing, but staying st strongly connected with your roots, your deepest thoughts and feelings. This, this particular um, part where it says continuity is achieved through movement, not keeping still. When I was in the hospital, um, I used to get out of my hospital bed and walk the, the halls. And one of the nurses told me that she always knew when someone was getting ready to, to leave this earth or to die because they would quit moving. And one of my mottos when I was in the hospital is that if you don't move, you die. And I think this is the same. Stagnation is just another um, word for degrading toward death. So keep moving. Keep 
doing things one step at a time and endure. And um, another word I think that we should remember today is resiliency, to be resilient in whatever happens, whatever changes that affect us. So have a great day and go out and enjoy the world.